Hi, my name is Ping and I'm currently in my honours year at the University of Melbourne. I completed my bachelor's degree and I majored in animal health and disease. In my third year, I found out about the science and technology internship subject. I was really interested in this because I thought it would be a great way to get out of the classroom and sort of dip my toes um, into the water of a study area that I'd be really interested in, potentially as a future career. When I first started trying to apply for internships, um, definitely had to do a lot of research. And then the next step was to start sending out emails, you know, cold calling, and just trying to reach out to these places to see if they've got a spot available. That was probably the hardest part. Um, after you put in so much effort and time and you're just disheartening to, you know, either get a rejection or not get any reply at all. But I can say that persistence has paid off. Um, I managed to secure an internship at Agriculture Victoria through a connection that I had with my professor. Basically, I uh, spoke with my professor about um, the fact that I was doing an internship subject and I was looking for opportunities in their area of work, which is animal epidemiology. So when I was working at Agriculture Victoria, um, I found it to be a really interesting and insightful experience. I've definitely had some prior expectations going in. I think I learned a lot about myself through the internship. Um, a couple of things about what I was really interested in and you know what line of work I could see myself doing. So during my internship, some of my responsibilities included compiling a report for the epidemiology team to make improvements to their passive surveillance program. So a lot of work I did was quite technical, um, involved researching and also analysing the passive surveillance data that the department had collected over the last 10 years. So to get the most out of my internship, I made sure that I was communicating clearly between both the university and my employer. And that was to make sure that everyone was on the same page and that um, no one was expecting too much from me. And I was also getting my expectations fulfilled by the employer or by the university in terms of the things that I would be doing on the internship and as well as any support that I might needed through the process. So by doing this science and technology internship subject, I think it's really helped to solidify my interest in this field of study. And I also have a better picture of the um, extra qualifications or studies that I need to excel further in this area, um, especially as a career pathway. So through the internship, I think I've gained a lot of things and that's from both the employability um, aspect as well as just personal development. Um, in terms of employability, there's a lot of skills that you get to practice in any workplace. Um, that's you know learning how to work independently or with others, uh, communicating clearly and being accountable for your work and also if you get the opportunity to demonstrate leadership. And something that's really important for science graduates, I think, uh, are a lot of these key, key skills such as problem solving, critical thinking and analysis. That is something that I really had to use in my work to produce meaningful um, outputs uh, and really make sure that I'm viewing everything with a critical eye. So if you're thinking about doing the science and technology internship subject or you're sort of sitting on the fence at the moment, um, these would be my best advice for whether you should do it and how to get the most out of it. So firstly, it's best to have a direction when you're going into the process about what sort of experience you want, where you might like to get that, and also what area you want to get that experience. I'd say think outside the box a little bit. You know, I only managed to get my internship uh, quite last minute and it was through talking to my professor, 
which was just something that I didn't think of in the first place, but really that resource is sitting right there in front of me. So this internship opportunity let me step outside the classroom, but still having the support of the university. So hopefully I've convinced you to take on this science and technology internship subject. Speaking for myself, I can say that I've definitely gotten more than just credit points out of the whole experience. So hopefully you're feeling inspired and wishing you all the best for the rest of the program.